with Reg Wells, Bill Vargas on sports, and George Lindsay Young's weather. Good evening, everyone. A suspect has been charged tonight in a horrifying crime. A mother and her two children were stabbed to death. Chris O'Donohue has that story. Lorraine was screaming in this, this tone. Mm. I jumped up and That's I ran to the fine. window. Get Stephanie, Carissa, and, and Joe, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. I just can't deal with it. There was uh, a lot of blood uh, all over the apartment. There was a savage assault. Even hardened police were moved by what they saw at the Queensbridge housing complex in Long Island City. A 23-year-old mother, Stephanie Pagan, and her daughters, when age six, the other just nine months old, were found hacked to death. We have a steak knife, we have a pair of scissors, we have a, uh, a knife that was uh, broken in two. A friend of the mother's, 20-year-old Ronnie Rodriguez, seen here on the right, was also stabbed. She's undergone surgery at Elmhurst General Hospital. Screams startled neighbors from their sleep about 5.45 this morning. She was saying, call 911 because someone is trying to kill me. And she was at the window up there, and she, she didn't have on no shirt, and she had blood in her face. So I called the cops. Alert neighbors also spotted a man running from the crime scene and tipped off the police. He was stripping. He started stripping when he got to the, this is building one, two, three. When he got to building three, he was coming out of his clothes. He was coming out, but he held on to his clothes. And then he just balled them up and put them in the corner of the building up there. And then um, it was, uh, um, they found it up there. Yeah, clothes. Yeah, clothes. Bloody clothes. Yeah. Five blocks away, police cornered the man. He jumped off the roof, and seven floors down, he hit the ground, sustaining a fractured leg and internal injuries. Late tonight, the man who jumped from the roof was charged in the murders. He's identified as Ronald Woodson, and he's still listed in critical condition at Elmhurst General. Police have not said if he had any previous contact with the victims. None of it makes sense to the rest of the family. I'm a grandmother. The grandmother. That's my my Carissa. That's my Carissa. My Carissa. Chris O'Donohue, Channel 9 News. And grief spilled out onto the streets of East Harlem today. Relatives and friends tried to contain their emotions at a funeral for six murder victims. A mother, three children, a grandmother, and a friend were killed last weekend, allegedly by the mother's boyfriend. Police say their apartment was set on fire in an attempt to cover up the crimes. There was another tragedy on Long Island. A four-year-old boy and his mother both drowned in the Mill Creek and Rockville Center. Nassau County police say the boy slipped into deep water. The mother jumped in to try to rescue him, but she didn't know how to swim. Her other son and a nephew called for help, and police divers rushed to the scene, but it was too late. After an hour of searching, their bodies were pulled from the creek. A suspect is under arrest tonight in the murder of a Woolworths manager in Harlem. The suspect is 33-year-old Adrian Thomas. Police say when he tried to rob the store yesterday, he got into a struggle with manager Bryant Lewis. Thomas allegedly shot him in the back. Police are still looking for a second suspect. A major development in Bosnia tonight. All the sides have agreed to a ceasefire. It is scheduled to go into effect tomorrow afternoon. But it's not clear if the deal will end a bloody civil war that has raged now for 13 months. The UN's top man in Bosnia, General Philippe Morion, got an earful from residents of the town of Jepa. The Muslim enclave is under attack by Bosnian Serbs. General Morion promised to save the town, and he may have. He got Bosnia's president to agree to a nationwide ceasefire with the Serbs. Part of it takes effect tomorrow. The deal for JPA takes effect Wednesday. The agreement comes as Secretary of State Warren Christopher briefed President Clinton about his shuttle diplomacy. Christopher is trying to get the Allies to okay the possible bombing of the Serbs, if necessary, in an effort to end the violence. But a Bosnian Serb leader warns against any Allied military intervention. We are not going to take more, more territory. We are going to wait for political solution. But President Clinton also said that no solution should be imposed to any of our sides to the conflict. And we like this, this idea, and we remind Americans that President Clinton said it. Now, despite the ceasefire, there's no word on whether Bosnian Serbs have changed their minds about a long-term peace plan. And the Times of London is reporting that President Clinton is ready to start bombing the Serbs within 10 days, if necessary. A special FBI and Secret Service task force came back from Kuwait today. They investigated reports that Iraq planned a hit on former President George Bush when he visited Kuwait last month. 
The Kuwaiti government says it foiled the plot and arrested 16 suspects. One report says a suicide bomber planned to strap explosives to his body and blow himself up along with the president. President Clinton will now wait for a full report before deciding how to respond. And the Pope took on the Mafia today. He flew to Sicily, urging both church officials and ordinary citizens to keep on battling the mob. John Paul II is the first Pope to explicitly condemn the Mafia. Coming up later tonight, protesters take to the streets over the issue of abortion. A postal worker wanted in a deadly shooting spree is captured in California. And there's a real hornet's nest in one Florida community. Residents are not happy about it. But now a man with a can of worms, perhaps, George Lindsay Young. Now, what do you mean, Reg? We've hit the weather jackpot the past couple of weekends. Nice weather indeed, 73 degrees today, I'll take it. What about tomorrow morning, 7 a.m.? Here it is, Mother's Day, 1993, mostly sunny. Temperatures at 7 a.m., they're 60 degrees. Coming up in just a bit, a Mother's Day forecast that's nothing but good news. And now here's Mr. Good News, Mr. Bill Vargas. Well, Bill will be along with the latest from the big fight night in Las Vegas, and we'll have much more news when we come back. Stay tuned. New Jersey 101.5 FM Radio. New Jersey 101.5? That's my FM radio station. It's not easy to trust the politicians. New Jersey 101.5 tells the truth about our state's government. And finally, I get to talk on the radio about my taxes, my kids' school, my job, my life in New Jersey. Finally, our own radio station, New Jersey 101.5. There's one place that has everything you need to build a home, all under one roof, at prices guaranteed to make even the professional builder happy. That place is Home Depot, and we offer fast, convenient delivery on everything you buy. Like Stanley's Stay True Door Systems, the energy-efficient alternative to wood doors. Stanley Steel Doors come in great styles that offer the look of wood but won't warp or crack. For whatever you need to build a home, it's Home Depot, where low prices are just the beginning. Introducing the new Q, the Q45 to be exact, from Infinity. It's an expression of what's possible in a luxury car today. The fact is, with so much landmark thinking in this car, I can't explain a concept as big as Infinity in 30 seconds. If I could, you'd be silly to buy it. If you'd like to learn more, visit your Infinity showroom. Or keep watching. I'll be back. She walks with the Lord. Please, Brother Hogan. He walks with the swine. Look, I told you not to brother me. She sets her sights on heaven. I'm married to our Lord Jesus Christ. His sights are set on something a little lower. You gonna desert me in my hour of need? Can God help this unholy alliance, or must they help themselves? Can you shoot? No, I can't shoot! Shirley MacLaine. You think nuns don't laugh? And Academy Award winner Clint Eastwood. I don't know. I've never spent the night with one before. Two Mules for Sister Sarah, Sunday at 8 on Channel 9. The strike at supermarkets in northern New Jersey is now spreading. The union has increased its picketing to 11 ShopRite stores. The walkout began yesterday at six locations. Management has responded by locking out workers at 15 other Food Town and Pathmark stores. A fourth chain involved in the negotiations, Grand Union, has no picket lines. Locked out workers at one Food Town were rather angry today. They want to take basically our benefits away from us, and they expect us to pay now for our, our benefits. We all work hard every day, and then they turn around, they don't want to give us what we do. We're, we're doing this, why don't you just give it to us? Be easier that way. The supermarket has obtained a temporary court order limiting picketing at eight of the ShopRite locations. The union will be allowed only four pickets at each entrance. Pro-life demonstrators were on the march in Irvington today. They held a protest outside an abortion clinic. When police asked them to leave, some refused. 22 demonstrators were arrested. Meantime, pro-choice demonstrators were on the march in Florida. Joan Murray has more. And it has always been true that when a woman is pregnant, she is pregnant with a human being. Just after sunrise in churches around the city, prayers for nonviolence and an end to abortion. To me, it's murder, and it's a painful murder. We won't stand down! We won't! As abortion rights activists marched, they also called for an end to violence outside abortion clinics. They marched for Dr. David Gunn, who was shot and killed on his way into a clinic. 
people felt very strongly after Dr. Gunn's assassination, um, and they felt somewhat powerless at that moment. That was six weeks ago. The National Organization for Women has worked on this demonstration ever since. I think the assaults on uh, clinics around this country have uh, intimidated women that have wanted to choose. It's intimidated health care workers and has now come to the point of murder. If the opposition was here, they were mostly invisible. The key anti-abortion has called off plans for a counter-demonstration. Even the mayor asked spectators to stay away. Organizers say it's only the beginning. We will not allow women to be forced into carrying compulsory pregnancies to term. The resolve to stop abortion just to strong on this issue dividing communities dividing the country there is little common ground in pensacola florida i'm joan murray reporting for channel 9 news and in other news from around the nation here is nine watch an arrest tonight in the california post office shooting the suspect is identified as richard hilbert a fired postal worker he is accused of killing two people and injuring five others. He was arrested in a bar without a struggle. He uh, tapped the guy on the shoulder and uh, asked him to stand up, please, and to come outside, and which, of course, he did. It really was without incident. Fear stalks an Arkansas town. Three eight-year-old boys were found beaten to death in a drainage ditch. Police say they may have been victims of sexual mutilation. A nationwide manhunt is now on for the killer. Deadly chain reaction smash up in Texas. It happened at a toll booth at the Dallas-Fort Worth airport. Two people were killed when an empty gas tanker rear-ended a pickup truck. Neighbors in a Florida town are trying to figure out what to do with a swarm of unwelcome residents. A giant hornet's nest was discovered in a wooded area. No one seemed to know how long it's been there, and no one is volunteering to get rid of it. You want to volunteer? No, thanks. Okay. Well, Bill's going to have all the sports coming up next, and he's got a new nickname, I understand. Well, yeah, you can just call me Vegas Vargas, right? Because I'm going to have all the latest on the big fight night in Las Vegas tonight. And also, in hockey, the Islanders trying to uh, erase the pens tonight. All that and more coming up on the Channel 9 News. Holly Shades by Minwax. It's a stroke of genius. Poly Shades is rich stain and polyurethane protection in one. Poly Shades gives wood a beautiful protective finish in half the time. Poly Shades by Minwax. If you want to save money on home repairs, listen up. Thompson's Wood Protector Preservative has more of everything wood needs to protect it from water, sun, and mildew damage. Consider yourself told, Thompson's Wood Protector Preservative. It's number one for wood. Have you seen all the press sports been getting? Ford Taurus is the number one selling car in America. In fact, of the 10 best selling vehicles in America, five of them are Fords. Only your Ford dealer can make this claim. I keep telling you, Ford is winning back America. Introducing the One Look Ford Thunderbird, specially equipped with all these options for just $16,292. One price, one look. Thunderbird. Your Ford dealer is winning back America with five of the 10 best sellers. See your tri state quality Ford dealer. And see for yourself. There's a new game in town. Think of it as a lottery. Then spreading the word. Illegal, but wildly popular. And Capone wants in on the action. Because these are hearts, guys. They're really putting up a fight. But when a battle becomes an all-out war, will Ness cross the line for justice? Capone has declared war on my people. Everybody pays. Boys in the Hood's Cuba Gooding Jr. guest stars on The Untouchables. One Vietnam on Channel 9. It's a Knox Landing thing with Michelle Lee, Ted Shackelford, and Joan Van Ark. Plus, Barry Manilow live on Arsenio. Monday at 11.30 on Channel 9. Okay, Bill, Vegas Vargas, <laughs> what's going on out there? It's what uh, promoter Don King would probably call a veritable plethora of pugilism, He'd say that, friend. right? <laughs> yes, indeed. A super surprise tonight, too, in the first of the triple header going on in Vegas. We're not allowed to show you the pay-per-view action, but in a title unification bout between two sluggers, little-known Gerald McClellan has knocked out WBC middleweight champ Julian Jackson to take that title. Now, due later tonight, WBC heavyweight champ Lennox Lewis to face Tony Tucker. And also on the card, the man most considered the best in the world, pound for pound, Julio Cesar Chavez. He's just underway with Terrence Ali. 
some furious fisticuffs this afternoon as well as Oscar De La Hoya, the former Olympic gold medalist, took on North American champion Frankie Avalar and makes quick work of him. The knockout giving De La Hoya a record of 7-0 since turning pro last November. On the undercard, as you see De La Hoya finish off his man, Jeremy Williams, the new prospect being guided by Mike Tyson's former handlers, took a chance and disposes of another undefeated heavyweight named Donnell Nicholson, Jeremy Williams, with a second round TKO today. Meanwhile, trying to fight off the ropes tonight, the New York Islanders hosting the Pittsburgh Penguins, trailing the series 2-1 and trailing 1-0 in the second, but they come back. Ray Ferraro's shot is stopped by Tom Barrasso, but it somehow manages to go in anyway, and Ferraro says, hey, I'll take it. 1-1 to score. That's how it appeared the second period would end as there are only 20 seconds left when Thomas Fitzgerald bats the puck out of the air, steals it, fires, and scores to make it 2-1 Islanders. Now, unbelievably, five goals have been exchanged already in the third. This game is now tied at 4-4 all. The Islanders in the pens, as you see it, in the third. Meanwhile, Montreal leading Buffalo 3-1. In the NBA, the changing of the guard. Neither of the two teams who played in the Western Conference Final last year will be back this year. One of those teams, the Utah Jazz, in Game 5 against Seattle. And the supersonic, who was truly super, was Sam Perkins, who buried that three. And Seattle still trailing by four late in the game, but a few minutes later, he does it again. Perkins knows that 7-4 Mark Eaton's not going to follow him outside. And when Utah takes Eaton out of the games, he says, hey, now I can go inside. And Seattle goes on to win 100 to 92. And Utah will join Portland on the sidelines. Utah and Portland are out of the playoffs. The Houston Rockets and LA Clippers also go to a deciding fifth today. Akeem the Dream with the follow. He had a 31 point outing for Houston as he uh, had also 21 rebounds. One of them here for the putback. And the Rockets are up 16 in the fourth. But here come the Clippers. Danny Manning's jumper pulls them to within one late in the fourth quarter. And then moments later, as Billy Crystal looks on, Ron Harper gives L.A. the lead. It is now 80 to 79. But back come the Rockets. Vernon Maxwell just back from a broken wrist. Missed his first seven, but buries the crucial three. And the Rockets win to advance to the next round against Seattle. And as the Nets get ready for their fifth and deciding game against the Cleveland Cavaliers tomorrow, some revealing numbers from their big victory last night. The Nets held the Cavs to just 79 points. That is a team playoff record for fewest points allowed. That is explained by another record. Derek Coleman's nine block shots, most ever by a net. And little used backup Dwayne Shinsis also contributed three blocks and his 10 points in the game were more than he had the whole season. Shinsis, this, this is the big time. This is what everyone works uh, for the whole year. Now I just got to talk to guys and to give me a small share of the, the playoff money, you know, and then, then I'll be all right. But here's one other important number to consider. The Nets haven't won a playoff series since 1984. That could change if they play Sunday the way they did last just night. Just to come out and just play, play the game of basketball. I mean, even with everything that's happened to us, we still just come out and play hard and let everything else take care of itself. All right, baseball, you talk about an instant replay. The Yankees clearly wanted to make up for the big one that got away last night in Detroit, right, as they took the field tonight. You remember last night, 6 nothing lead. They get another one, and they get it in the very first inning. The double by Jim Leyritz here makes it 3 to nothing, and then look how they get their sixth run. Sixth run. Mike Gallego grounded a short. That'll score a run, actually their fifth run. Gallego out, but Mickey Tettleton playing first tonight doesn't see the second runner heading home. Two runs on a ground out, it's 6 nothing in the first, but here's the reason Detroit leads the division. They can flat out score runs. They have come all the way back when Skeeter Barnes hits this one out. It is Tigers 8-7, to seven, and that is how it still stands right now in the eighth. The Mets, meanwhile, battling Florida at the bottom of their division. Second inning of their game today. Marlins pitcher Jack Armstrong with a base hit off Pete Shurik. Former Met Dave Magadan coming home. Bobby Bonilla nails him at the plate. Game is scoreless until the third. Marlins load the bases and then Arrestus Estrada, the slugger out of Japan, singles. And it brings home two. And then after Felix Jose Homer makes it three, the Mets will at least get one back in the fourth. Eddie Murray takes Armstrong deep, up, up, and away. Murray's fifth of the year. It's three to one. In the fifth, Jeff Kent will come to the plate and watch and listen.
Oh, you could hear it. Fortunately for Kent, those batting helmets really do the job these days. He was not seriously hurt, walked out of the clubhouse under his own power. But the rest of the Mets showing no power today as they lose 4-2. to two. And another controversy, too, just what the Mets needed. Bobby Bonilla gets into a big argument today with third base coach Mike Cubbage. They had a big fight over uh, Bobby Bonilla apparently not running hard enough on a fly ball, and it just goes on and on and on. All congeniality there. Yeah, they get along with reporters, they get along with each other, it's wonderful. <laughs> One happy family. Coming up later, George has the forecast for the rest of the weekend, plus the Gospel Fest. And Queens residents take to the streets again to fight another topless club. Stay with us. It's the finest showing of outdoor patio furniture in the Tri-State area. It's Harrow's Furniture Expo, this weekend only, with huge savings on traditional and contemporary patio furniture by the top manufacturers. Buy from Harrow's this weekend and make no payments until December. Get this beautiful five-piece set for just $199, or take home these fabulous freebies with selected items. But hurry, Harrow's Furniture Expo ends this Monday night at 9 p.m. There's more fun by the yard for you and more savings at Harrow's. The Complete Car Cost Guide studied over 500 cars to determine which offered the best overall values. Which did they choose? The Volvo 240 Wagon. The Volvo 940 Turbo Sedan. The Volvo 940 Turbo Wagon. And now Volvo has made them even better values. The Volvo Best Value Program. Now until May 31st, call us for a dealer nearest you. New Jersey 101.5 FM Radio. New Jersey 101.5? That's my FM radio station. It's not easy to trust the politicians. New Jersey 101.5 tells the truth about our state's government. And finally, I get to talk on the radio about my taxes, my kids' school, my job, my life in New Jersey. Finally, our own radio station, New Jersey 101.5. Tonight, residents of another Queens neighborhood are taken to the streets to protest against another topless club. Residents of Woodhaven want to shut down the Pretty Woman Bar on Woodhaven Boulevard. Similar protests in nearby Forest Hills against Runway 69 were successful. The IRS kept some of its offices open today in New Jersey. Tax collectors are encouraging people who didn't file last month to come forward. The program is not an amnesty. Delinquent filers will have to pay penalties and interest, but they won't face any criminal charges. About 120 people showed up. Well, uh, I didn't see you in line, so... No, uh, I'm just wondering, though, Gizmo the weather dog does get an he, allowance. He uh -huh. So, should he show up? He should have filed. I, I think the amount he gets, though, is probably below the minimum standards, but nonetheless, maybe he should go. How do you like today's weather? Sunny, low 70s, a bit chilly in the morning, but that didn't stop them from getting out there and enjoying the day. Today it was Columbus Avenue Street Fair. Take a look at it. Between 66th and 71st, out today enjoying the sunshine, and there was plenty of it today. You can almost smell the food cooking. Yeah. Here's what's happening right now, mostly clear. 56 degrees, relative humidity 78%. Winds from the southwest at 6. Barometer 30, 26. And it is steady. Kids who dare to say no to drugs. That's what it's all about. Take a look at today's Dare to Say No to Drugs poster from the Channel 9 Weather Lab. Bartle School, Grade 5, Highland Park, New Jersey. What a terrific poster. Keep them coming in. Take a look at tonight's radar summary. Strong thunderstorms popping up tonight. Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. Day 2 of heavy thunderstorm activity. Take a look at this video, tornado video from yesterday. Amateur footage incredible stuff you notice the date there may 7th yesterday this is from lake wilson right in central kansas that tornado two injuries one fatality one of many tornadoes yesterday in kansas and oklahoma from this terrific storm system now that's set up right in the nation's midsection scattered activity over the southeast but warm many areas coming in today with record high temperatures today evansville indiana a record high louisville tied a record high 80s and 90s quite common nationwide hot spot today 99 degrees palm springs california 20 up at truckee was the coolest across the 48. for us high pressure still in charge of the scene keeping any activity from coming towards us at all and that's good news that means the spring fling of today will continue for Mom's Day tomorrow. Even milder temperatures as the high slowly drifts towards the southeast. Southerly flow setting up 
temperatures inching up towards 80 degrees. Here's your forecast now from the Channel 9 Weather Lab. Tonight, clear, comfortable, low to mid-50s. Mom's Day looking like this, mostly sunny, marvelous. Temperature highs for tomorrow near 80 degrees. Tomorrow night, mostly clear, mild, middle to upper 50s. Well, he may owe some taxes, and he certainly owes his mother. His mother's name is Half Pint. Her uh, location right now is unknown. Nonetheless, for tomorrow, Gizmo says, it'll be a doggy delight. Here's your extended forecast now, Sunday through Thursday, looking like this, precipitation free. That's the good news. Monday, a little bit cooler, 76 degrees, warming towards midweek to about 80 degrees by Monday. So lots of sunshine for tomorrow, slightly milder. Couldn't ask for much more. And I know after the show, you're on your way to the 7-Eleven uh, to get your Mother's Day present for your mother. Well, no, actually, I, I'm a little ahead. You know my mother. She's going to get some flowers this year. Okay, well, very good. Yeah. Coming up later tonight, the best gospel singers in our area face off. It's a harmonious competition. We'll show you. It's the world's greatest tile store with hundreds of colors and styles to choose from. But it's also a great flooring store and a decorative wall covering store and a window treatment store. It's Home Depot with everything you need to design and finish your home. Like level or decorative window treatments. They come in styles to give any room a whole new look. And you can special order any size level or treatment in a wide variety of custom colors. Home Depot, where low prices are... Start playing to win. Call the numerology hotline now. Annie Pulliam called for her lucky numbers, and she won $15,000. Anthony Searles got his lucky numbers, and he won $12,000. And John Elaine Churgan has won more than $7,000, thanks to the numerology hotline. She told me my lucky lotto numbers, my lucky day, even the best time to buy my ticket. Call 1-800-621-3737 and get your lucky numbers from the numerology hotline. This call is free, adults only. WWOR-TV, the first New York area station to provide closed captioning of the local news. The closed captioning of tonight's news has been underwritten by PSENG. The power is in your hands. Finally, th this evening, a little... Uh, let me start that again. Finally tonight, McDonald's is pushing more than Big Macs. It is sponsoring today's Gospel Fest competition, featuring some of the sweetest sounds around. Today's round of singing narrowed down the groups to the finalists who will sing off in a few days. That's our report for tonight. I'm Reg Wells. Thanks for joining us. Good night.